feel. Taking in a huge inhale and an exhale, letting go of all the stress transition, whatever it took to arrive here on your mat and take this time for you. Notice the sit bones underneath you and perhaps move the flesh of your seat out of the way, connecting downward firmly into that earth. The earth taking good care of you, holding you. And tilt your pelvic bowl forward. <clears throat> sit up nice and tall all the way through your spine to the crown of your head. Reaching tall towards the sky. Take in another long, smooth inhale. And an exhale, letting it go. And a moment to pause, envisioning that oxygen circulating through, bathing all those nooks and crannies and the fingertips and the toes, perhaps in the belly and in the chest, places that have been ignored all week where you haven't paused long enough to notice. And so a moment here at the outset to just pause and be present with how you are in this moment at the beginning of our practice. Another long, smooth inhale and matching equal exhale. And with this inhale, breathing in long and smooth and lengthen the exhale. So it's intentionally longer than the inhale. And pause at the end of that exhale and just notice how you feel. A long exhale, shifting your nervous system even in just one breath and just one moment. <clears throat> if it feels good to you, bring a hand to heart. Go back to breathing normally. Bring another hand to top and check in with that heart space. Check in with how you feel. Sending yourself compassion and love and acceptance for whatever has passed this week whatever craziness or chaos or amazingness and calm, just giving yourself a chance to let whatever it is or was in appreciating perhaps what you did well, what went well, even in the midst of the chaos. And for today's class, I wanted to um, go a little bit further into the idea of jealousy. And I had written a bit about it yesterday. And I think we often think of jealousy or even difficult feelings, anger, frustrations, resentments, um, envy as a negative thing. And I wanted to flip it on its head here in this practice, thinking about those emotions as clues, as insights. Perhaps jealousy could even be seen as an inspiration. And so when we see something that someone else has or did, or perhaps someone else had an amazing calm first week back at school, or so you think from afar and you did not, or perhaps someone's practice or marriage looks better than yours, and just allowing yourself to use that as a clue. What is it that you're looking to think or feel in your life? What is it that you want more of or less of? So our natural inclination is to take those feelings of jealousy and resentment and bitterness and frustration and make them a problem. Most of us um, high achievers are problem solvers, fixers. And what if they're not a problem? What if they're insight? What if they're wisdom into what your heart wants? What would delight you? where you wanna go. Perhaps it's setting your intention or your GPS towards having more of that or less of something that you have. Not that you need to fix it, but just knowing what's out there for you. So with your hand to heart, taking in a deep inhale, allowing all of those natural human feelings. And on the exhale, perhaps letting go of the judgment of them softening the judgment of them. And on the inhale, perhaps allowing those perhaps unpleasant feelings of jealousy and envy and resentment and letting them be clues. What might that feel like? 
and letting go again of the judgment and frustration and feeling bad that you are jealous or envious or resentful. Letting go of that idea that a human or a good human wouldn't have those feelings. Breathing in acceptance of all the feelings, all the human feelings, whatever they are when they pop up, even anger. And exhaling, knowing that we can use those feelings to, to help us, to guide us, to make our life even better. And pause here for two breaths, just sitting with that idea. Inviting the idea that the fear and inadequacy feelings that sometimes pop up there, they're just clues and we can flip them to be inspiring and hopeful and positive, not in a Pollyanna way, but just as a curiosity way, clues. And in yoga and in the rest of this class, um, the invitation is to go within Noticing the clues within you, what feels good, what do you like, what do you want more of, where in your world are you looking to others and noticing what you don't have, and looking within, noticing what you do have and what you want more of, and how can you make small, tiny shifts, perhaps even just in your thinking, to allow more room for that. When we are jealous and resentful and angry and, angry and bitter, we don't have space or room to make the shifts that we want. And so yoga is an invitation for space. It's softening the nervous system, opening up the breath to create space for those shifts to happen with ease. So breathing in that softness, openness, curiosity, receptivity, breathing out the resistance and frustration, and bring your hands to heart center, rub your palms together and be curious, enjoy all those delightful sensations of skin to skin, finger pads to finger pads, rubbing your palms together, noticing a little bit of heat and bring your thumbs to your sternum, connect them into the sternum, fingers reach towards the sky. Once again, a long, delicious, smooth, delightful inhale, sending that oxygen everywhere. And an exhale, letting it go. And a pause to set an intention for today. An intention for this practice, perhaps to show up curious, perhaps to allow those frustrating, often negatively couched feelings to be clues, to be curious, to enjoy, to play lightheartedly with all of that and see what comes. Lower your hands and open your eyes. And we'll come back into our beautiful Zoom room together. And we'll start with a shrug. Shrug those shoulders all the way up to your ears as high as you can. High, high, high. And drop your shoulders and enjoy the release. Bring your chin to your chest. And enjoy the stretch on the back of the neck gently chin back to shoulder height. Take in a huge, delicious inhale here. And an exhale, releasing the tension, the judgment, all the stuff you're holding. Bring your hands by your sides and reach them up towards the sky. Palms can face one another. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms up towards the sky, straight your elbows, Shimmy them a little bit behind your ears if that's possible for you. And take a moment here, reach your palms as high as you can, tilt your pelvis forward, reach tall, tall, tall from the ground through the palms, take a delicious inhale, slight arch back, exhale round forward, soften the whole back body and send a breath into every little ache and pain and nook and cranny there. No problems, breathing into it with love. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. Slight arch back once again, seated cow. 
and exhale, round forward, suck your neighbor all the way back, drop the crown of your head, reach it as far forward as you can, enjoying every bit of the back body opening, send the breath into it, every nook and cranny, and arch upward once again. Open your arms out towards the side walls, press your palms into the side walls, extend your elbows, press firmly, every muscle engaged, pinch your scapula tight, 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 Enjoy all those sensations and let it go. Once again, pinch the scapula tight, tight, tight and let it go. We'll wrap our arms into eagle arms. Right arm's going to come under the left, elbow to elbow. Bring your palms together or thumbs together as close as you can. Some of you will have your hands laid out wide. That's fine too. Bring your elbows to shoulder height and pause here for a moment. Enjoy the sensation in the back of the scapula. Inhale, lift your elbows up an inch. Exhale, lower them to shoulder height. Inhale, lift up an inch. Notice the tension, breathing into the tension. And exhale, relax into it. You can inhale, noticing that tightness and resistance as the sort of jealousy, frustration, wishing it were different, resisting reality. And exhale, lower to shoulder height and notice the release. Once again, inhale into all those feelings of frustration, jealousy, wishing somehow you were different, the situation was different. Exhale, round, bring your elbows into your belly, drop your head and neck and release. Notice everything soften here. Softening into who you are, what you like. Huge inhale with your head cradled into your arms and an exhale, let it go, blowing it away. Bring your elbows back to shoulder height. Untangle your arms, stretch them into the side walls once again. Palms press into the side wall. Spread your fingers wide, 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 opening up space to feel and see things differently here. Press the palms into the side walls, pinch the scapula together, all that tightness there, all the resistance. And with intention, soften and let it go. Spread your fingers wide, wide, wide. Once again, press the fists into the side walls, arms fully engaged. You may notice them calling out a little. Pinch your scapula together and release, let it go. Wrap your arms in the opposite direction, left elbow under right into the eagle arms. Your palms can face one another, thumbs can face one another. Bring your elbows to shoulder height and pause here for a moment. Enjoy the softness, the tightness all at the same time. Inhale, lift up an inch. Exhale, lower to shoulder height. Inhale, lift your elbows up an inch. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right into the tightness, right into the resistance, into the uncomfortable feelings, the wishing it were different, maybe even fear or inadequacy. Often jealousy is disguised. Is that disguised? Exhale, lower, fold your elbows into your belly just below your chest and allow your head and neck to release and pause here. Softening in, going inward, checking in with yourself. What clues have you not been listening to as you pause here? What is in there that your heart is letting you know, that your intuition is letting you know, that you have been too busy to notice? Often the jealousy and the envy is your quick reaction to those things. What is within that you're wishing for more of? What are the clues where those feelings have popped up recently? And what if those feelings are not a problem? Nothing to fix, just information. Bring your elbows back up to shoulder height. Sit up nice and tall. Untangle your arms. Press them once again into the side wall. Wrists are flexed. Fingers splayed as wide as you can. Noticing the energetic shifts. Pinch your scapula together one last time. And release. Lower your arms. Roll your shoulders out. Enjoy all the sensations here. Rolling back and rolling forward. Noticing when we allow all of this, how delightful it can feel. And pause here for a moment, letting your fingers hang loose and just notice how they feel by your sides. 
<clears throat> if you're sitting on something, feel free to um, take it out. It will make it easier as we move forward. And we'll come to seated, stretch your legs long in front and take a minute to move the flesh of the seat out of the way so that your ischial spines connect downward. I know we have a few new people today. So I often talk about moving the flesh of your seat with kindness and without judgment. Your knees can be gently bent, your ankles can be flexed and spread your toes wide, wide, wide. Notice those ischial spines connecting downward and engage your belly. Your belly and your core are strong. If you are rolling back in your belly, sit up nice and tall, tilt your pelvic bowl forward, stack your spine all the way up to through your neck to the crown of your head, reaching tall. Take your fingers, tend them behind you, press the fingers into the floor. You have like a cupcake, so you're not squishing the frosting. Drop your elbow, your shoulders down and back. Elbows are straight and extend the crown of your head towards the sky. Take an inhale. Exhale, press your knees slightly towards the floor, coming into Dandasana or staff pose. Everything engaged here. Spread those toes wide, wide, wide. Use your toes to garner energy, to shift energy. Taking in an inhale here, right into that heart space. Proudly with your chest puffed forward, letting it shine forward, letting some of those things within be seen. Acknowledging that some of these edgy, uncomfortable feelings are useful. How do you want to use them? for you rather than judging yourself and others. As high achieving women, we all tend to judge others. And so just noticing that jealousy is often judgment disguised. It's a lot of things disguised. Exhale, let it go, relax everything. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky, gracefully palms face one another. Exhale, fold forward, your head and neck will release Towards your toes, your fingers may touch your toes, your shins, your thighs. They may touch somewhere different than usual. No judgment here, allowing your head and neck to release. And once again, close your eyes and go inward for a moment if that's comfortable. Closing your eyes doesn't feel good, just a loose light gaze. Huge inhale here into your chest. And an exhale, release, let it go. Slowly walk your hands up your shins your thighs sitting up nice and tall. Take your right leg, bend your knee and hug your knee in towards you. Take a moment here once again to rock on those sit bones and hug that knee in, tilt your pelvic bowl forward and sit up tall, 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 using your elbows to bring your knee in towards you. Left leg extending long, spread your toes wide and toes reaching towards the ceiling. So if they are turned out towards one side or the other wonky, realign them. Take a moment here to sit up nice and tall. Inhale, reach your left hand sky high, lengthen the whole left side body, stretch tall, belly engaged, and lower that left arm down. Stretch your right leg long in front, even things out, and just notice how you feel. Bend the left knee, hug it all the way in towards you. Rock on those sit bones side to side. Have a little wiggle and fun with it. Taking a moment, stretch your right leg long. Toes reach towards the sky. Spread your toes wide. Inhale the right arm long, long, long. Whole right side body stretches. And just notice how everything here is working together. Reach those fingers tall and exhale, lower it down. Stretch the left leg long side, the right. Move the flesh of your seat out of the way and spread your legs wide, coming into a wide angle pose. You may wanna take your hands behind you, fists to the floor, pick up your hips and shift your hips forward a smidge or two. Press your fists into the floor, sit up tall on your ischial spines. Your vertebrae are stacked, aligned, one atop the other through the crown of your head, through your neck. Taking a moment here, your belly fully engaged, everything working even as you're sitting. We often think sitting poses are relaxing poses. Your legs are extended long, ankles are flexed, heels pressing forward, toes flexed back towards your knees, feet are in line with your knees. Inhale your arms up towards the sky with grace. Bring your right hand, slide it down your right leg towards your right ankle. Left hip connects downward, stretch the whole left side body, opening up the ribs and the left waist. Take an inhale here. 
And an exhale gaze over the left shoulder, blowing away all that tension, negativity, frustrations, comparisons. Inhale here, all the good stuff. Curiosity, inspiration. I wonder why. Exhale, gaze over the left shoulder, letting it go. Slide up the left, the right leg, pardon me. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Lower your left hand, slide it down the left leg towards your ankle. Reach your right arm over your right ear. Stretch the whole right side body. Ribs fanned open. Notice the top of the waist. Take an inhale. And an exhale, gaze over the right shoulder, blowing away whatever you'd like to let go of. Perhaps judgment for having jealousy. Inhale deeply, allowing it all to be just noticing curious clues. And exhale, blowing it out over the right shoulder. Slowly slide the left hand up. Reach both arms up towards the sky. Exhale them out toward and lower them to the outer edges of your thighs. Sweep your legs in front and we'll come to hands and knees. If you need a blanket under your knees for cushion, take a moment to do that. Treat yourself kindly. Harder is not better. Suffering does not make yoga better. So yoga is about learning to be kind to yourself and learning to see yourself and notice what works. So taking a moment here, to figure out what works. And the beauty of Zoom yoga and online yoga is that you're in your box. No comparisons needed. You figure out what works for you and you do that. It's a real opportunity to explore yourself without comparison, without jealousy, without envy of what someone else can do. Noticing your palms, press the palmer surface downward to protect your wrists and spread your fingers wide also to protect, protect your wrists, equal pie shapes. Press the palms into the earth, elbows straight, humeral heads into the shoulder sockets. Take a moment to notice your knees, tops of your feet on the earth, back is flat, belly engaged, head is in line with the neck. Huge inhale into the chest space here, sending it all the way into the groin and the tops of the legs. And an exhale, release, back still flat. Another inhale in through your nose and an exhale, release. Stretch your right leg long behind, toes on the floor. Take an inhale, raise your right leg up six inches into a balanced pose. Belly is engaged. Take a minute to notice your hips. Are they flat to the earth? Inhale. Exhale, if you wish, reach your left hand long, long, long. Stretch your heel in one direction, fingers in the other. Stretching long as you can. Full stretch through your belly. Inhale, balancing. Kindness for all the wiggles and the wobbles. Breathing into that heart space and your belly space here. Your belly is very awake and aware here. Sometimes we have our wants and desires in life in our belly. And what if jealousy were just a clue to those desires? What if comparing and despairing were a clue to those desires, things that you want in your life, you want more of? And maybe in your life, it looks different. Press your heels still into the back wall, fingers long in front, stretch long, huge inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee underneath you. Inhale, stretch long, fingers in one direction, heel in the other, focusing on your core and your strength in in the middle. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch long and pause here for a moment. Lower your left hand, your right knee, come back to tabletop and take a minute to undo any kinks. Perhaps your wrists need a little circuit, um, circles. Notice whether your knees need something and find your center once again. Your stability, your knowing, Spread your fingers wide, palms ground into the earth, elbows straight, humeral heads in the shoulder sockets. Stretch your left leg long behind, toes on the earth, ankle is flexed. Notice your belly button. Inhale, raise your left heel up to hip height. Press the heel into the back wall and pause here. Breathe into the chest. Exhale, press the heel with intention into the back wall and just noticing how you feel here. 
Inhale once again. Exhale, reach your right arm long in front, stretching long gracefully through the front fingers, all the way running through your body in the line to the heel. Couple of breaths here, noticing wiggles and wobbles on this side, perhaps more so than the other or less so. Noticing where you're strong, what works. And in this somewhat awkward balancing spot, just noticing more about yourself. What do you want to learn about yourself? Even as you think about how you perhaps should be able to do this better, what's the learning? Is slow better? Is relaxing in better? Last breath. Lower your right hand and your left knee and take a minute to wiggle your hips, noticing what feels good. Come down to um, your elbows, walk your elbows in front several inches. Palms are going to be on the floor, forearms are on the floor. Lower your forehead towards the floor, shift your hips back, come into puppy pose. You'll notice a lot of sensations in the back of the arms and the armpits, perhaps in your back. Toes are still on the floor, tops of the feet are on the floor. Third eye, if it works for your anatomy, your forehead will be on the floor. A moment here to breathe into any pockets of tightness here. Thinking about the tightness as just that sort of negative energy. Breathing into it, allowing it, and being curious, curious about it is what softens it. Same thing with jealousy, even anger and resentment, all that stuff. Soften it with the breath, relax into it. Look around at it like a flashlight. What's there for you? What's the learning? Slowly walk back up to hands and knees. We'll walk our hands forward a handprint, curl your toes and shift your hips up into downward dog. And be curious in this downward dog today. Notice what your hands and your wrists need. Notice what your elbows and arms need. Reach your sit bones as high as you can towards the sky, high, 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 up on your tiptoes. Heels reach as high as you can. Lengthen the spine, drop your head. Huge inhale into the chest space here, filling yourself up with breath, but also kind of hope and lightness and curiosity. Exhale, let it go. Once again, fill yourself up with the breath, noticing that when we're depleted, it's much harder to not be jealous and judgmental and react. And so much of yoga is bathing your nervous system with all of this kindness, oxygen, everything it needs so that you can show up as the best version of you taking care of you. Coming from strong within rather than reacting to what else is happening outside of you. Deep inhale once again, press into your hands, reach your sit bones high, high onto your tiptoes, slowly lower those heels down to the floor. They probably won't reach the floor and just notice the energetic shifts running through the backs of your legs. Take a minute here to look back between your legs. One of the intentions in yoga is to shift perspective and we shift perspective by softening and caring for all of our nervous system, but also by being upside down and asking different questions and exploring different things. And so notice here, how might you want to shift your perspective on things, whatever they might be? Is there something that would be very helpful to shift perspective about? Walk your hands back towards your feet, coming into a forward fold and notice how you feel. Notice if your back is achy or needs some attention. Lift up all 10 toes here in your forward fold, spread them wide and lower them down for balance. Bring your hands to your elbows and allow yourself to sink in. Drop your head and neck. Release the lower back fully. Bend your knees to be kind to yourself. No judgments about straight knees. And let your head and neck go. And take a moment here to be curious. Sway into your toes and your heels to the left and to the right. 
some of the main tenets of mindfulness are curiosity and non-judgment and also non-striving. And so noticing that when we show up that way, we often actually get more done and enjoy life more. And the noticing and the curiosity open up all kinds of possibilities that weren't there before. And all of that shifts your perspective. And so thinking about how that can, we are very open and receptive to it in yoga when we're sitting here upside down, but how might you want to bring that to the rest of your life? Lower your hands to the floor or somewhere, engage that belly and roll up inch by inch by inch. Like pearls on a string, unroll your vertebrae and do it in a way that you show up aligned. And if you don't, take a minute to arrive. Notice the blood flow shifting through your body. The sensations coming into your fingers, perhaps like sand lowering in an hourglass. Let it land, let it finish before you move on. Allowing yourself time to accommodate. Going from the dark, perhaps, to the light as you've arrived standing. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears once again and lower them down. Palms open towards the front. Tadasana or mountain pose. Mountains don't get jealous. They just stand there tall, a little bit like trees. And so allowing yourself to be a strong mountain, guided here by your own inner heart, your inner wisdom, what you know about yourself what you enjoy, not reacting, but coming from within. Bring the energy up through your feet, into your knees, engage your thighs, tuck your pelvis, stack your spine, reach the crown of your head towards the sky, reaching tall, 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 huge inhale. And an exhale out, down through your chest, out your arms, all the way back right into the earth. Palms face forward, wiggle your fingers slightly. A light, loose, but strong mountain. Bring your hands to heart center, palms together, thumbs connect into your sternum. Lift up onto your tiptoes as high as you can and pause here to balance, noticing the wiggles and the wobbles. Engage your glutes and your belly to help you. Pick a spot on the floor that's not moving to help with your balance. And we will slowly bend our knees and lower down towards the floor, focusing inward. Use the thumbs against the sternum to help you balance and going inward, connecting with yourself and whatever's going on within. When we focus inward, many things become easier. Pause at the bottom. Take a notice of how you feel. Take in a huge inhale and an exhale. When you're ready, slowly rise up inch by inch. Press the thumbs into the sternum to help you. No hurry to get there. Enjoying the process. Still high up on your tiptoes. Reach tall, high. Reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Huge inhale, standing tall, high on those tiptoes. And exhale, lower your heels towards the earth. Notice how you feel. Lift up all 10 toes and spread them wide. Lower them down like monkey toes, like little children learning to walk. Use those toes. We're going to come into tree pose. Right heel connects into the left calf. You can pause here. This can be your tree if that works for you. Again, there's no judgment or comparison. Draw the right knee back towards the back wall or the back of the garden for those of you practicing outside. If you wish, raise the right sole of the foot to the calf. And if any of you wish, you can raise it higher, but notice your tendency to want to do higher. What if you just left the sole of your foot on your calf and tucked the right knee back, engaging the glute? And if you wish, reach your branches up towards the sky in a beautiful tree, blow the leaves in the breeze, and notice how you feel here. Heart light with the hands reaching towards the sky. Breathe into that heart space here. Let the sun come in through your fingers, through the leaves, in towards that tr stable tree trunk. And exhale, let it go. Bring your hands back to heart center. 
a moment here to connect to that heart space, to connect within, to connect with what your heart wants and knows. Perhaps lighter here on one leg, tipping, wiggling, wobbling. Draw your knee forward and lower your foot down. Be kind to the left foot. Roll the ankle out, shake it out. Perhaps point and flex your toe. Let everything go. And we'll come back to stand tall like a mountain. Hands at your sternum, palms together. Lift up all five toes on the right foot, monkey toes, lower them down. Kickstand your left foot. Left heel comes to the right calf. Take an inhale. If you wish, bring the sole of the foot to the calf coming into a tree, like a low tree. Connect the thumbs into the sternum for stability, huge inhale. And if you wish, raise your branches towards the sky coming into a tree pose, a tall, graceful, elegant tree with light in that central heart space. Energy coming down through your fingers into the heart. Draw that left knee back. Enjoy this tree a lot. Let yourself just enjoy being you without comparison, without jealousy of anyone else. Noticing that when we focus within, which perhaps we were told not to do, that's where our power and our best self emerges. We bring our best self, our most balanced and gorgeous tree out into the world. Bring your hands back to heart center, palms together. Press those thumbs into your sternum, sending yourself good wishes. Enjoying you. Bring your knee forward and lower down. Shake things out, roll them out. Perhaps wiggle your hips. And come to the front of your mat. If you're not at the front of your mat, toes facing forward. Notice your feet on the floor. Bring your arms out and up towards the sky. Palms come together, slight arch back. Fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Spine is straight, but is sticking out towards the back. Your hands can be on your thighs or your shins. Exhale, fold forward, forward fold. Once again, inhale for a half lift. Spine is straight, crown of the head reaches forward. Enjoy the movement here. Exhale, fold forward. Step back directly to downward dog today and pause in downward dog. We've been here before. Notice how maybe you feel different. Notice perhaps a shift in perspective. Ground into the left ball of the foot. Inhale, raise your right leg towards the sky. Extend the heel towards the back wall, three-legged dog. Left leg strong and engaged. Exhale, bend the right knee, open the hip and roll the ankle out, opening up that whole right hip area and roll the ankle in the opposite direction. Resquare your hips, extend your heel to the back wall. Exhale, gently bring your foot between your hands. We're gonna cartwheel up into warrior two. Your feet will be about a foot wide in terms of a lane between them, right toes towards the front back toe, pigeon toed, and cartwheel those arms open, coming into warrior two. Strong belly, pack your right hip back and your left hip forward, gaze is over the right middle finger. Notice your back hand, is it even with your shoulder? Breathe into the heart space here, strong heart. Inhale deeply into every nook and cranny of your chest, sending light everywhere. Exhale, sink into warrior two, bend the right knee. Notice if it's extending beyond the right ankle and wiggle your toes a little farther forward. A graceful, strong, elegant warrior two. Huge inhale into the chest space. Allowing your heart to fill fully in diastole. And exhale, drop the left hand down the left thigh, reach your right arm over, come into a peaceful warrior. Right arm gracefully arched over the right ear. Breathe into the front of the ribs here, that fan open. Exhale, blow it out. Let the left fingers dip a little farther if possible. Inhale, fan open the ribs once again. Exhale, cartwheel back to warrior two. 
straight your front knee and bend it. Straight that front knee once again. Tip your left hip back, right fingers reach far, far forward, drop your right hand, come into triangle or trikonasana on this side. Slide your right hand down the right shin, gazes up towards the left fingertips. Roll your heart open here. Breathe into that chest space and notice as the heart rolls, what happens? If it hurts your neck to look up, gaze down, either one is fine. Huge inhale into that heart space that's popped open here to the light. Filling it with breath and exhale. Slowly rise back up. Turn your hips towards the front, arms reach towards the sky. Lower your hands over the right down to the floor, pardon me, on either side of the right foot. Hop that back foot forward. Come into pyramid pose, short pyramid. Both toes reach towards the front of the mat. Right hip tucks backward. Legs are straight-ish. If you can touch the floor, great. If your hands are on your shin, great, or your thigh. Breathe into all the energetic shifts in the back of the right leg here. Sending the breath and softening. And noticing that twangy feeling. It's a feeling a bit like jealousy. It's uncomfortable. And just using your thoughts here. How can you be curious about that? Where do you need to send the breath? What might be happening in the back of the leg? What needs softening? Breathe into it. What are the messages? Exhale, fold forward a tiny bit, bend your elbows if that works for you. Shift your weight into your toes slightly. Lower your heels. Lift up the front toes, spread them wide, noticing, lowering your toes down. Inhale for a half lift, spine straight, crown of the head reaches forward, exhale, forward fold. Step the back foot forward to meet the front foot, coming into a forward fold once again. Hands will meet at your sacrum behind you. Press your fists towards the back wall, straight your elbows. Exhale, allow your hands to fall over your head and neck. As you sink in, notice your feet. Notice if anything needs adjustment. Lift up all 10 toes and lower them down. Allow your hands to fall another inch forward. Release into it. Notice the sensations in the shoulders, the tightness. Again, those twangy feelings. <laughs> Befriend them with curiosity. What do you need to send there? How are they clues? What if discomfort was clues? Bring your hands back to your uh, sacrum. Allow them to run down the backs of your thighs towards the floor. Sink your hips back and down. Rise up to chair pose. We're going to do a higher chair pose like a high chair. So not all the way sinking down. Your arms are in line with your ears, reaching towards the sky. And notice, so not all squunched up in the belly, taller, but thighs engaged. Lift up all 10 toes, lower them down. Sink your hips back down a little bit farther. Reach those fingers tall by your ears. Breathe in, into that heart space again. Exhale, release. Belly is fully engaged. Sink down a tiny bit more. Draw the light in through your fingertips, down your arms, once again into your heart space, filling your heart with light and hope, possibility, maybe some inspiration. What if those people you've been jealous of or comparing yourself to, what is it they're doing that you would like to do? How can you do something like that in your own version? Or perhaps it's how you think they feel. How could you feel a little more that way? Huge inhale once again. Exhale, flip upside down, fold forward, release forward, noticing the sensation shifting in the back of the legs and the hips. Engage your belly and roll up inch by inch by inch all the way. Head is the last to rise. Let the blood flow lower down. 
Open your arms out and up. Palms come together, slight arch back. Fold forward once again. Forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Step back directly to downward dog where we were a few moments ago and take a minute to get your hands comfy, feet comfy, knowing that most of the time we don't take a minute to get comfy. Ground the right sole of your foot into the earth, engage your belly, raise your left leg, three-legged dog, press your heel into the back wall, leg is straight. Huge inhale into the chest. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip, roll your ankle in one direction and then the other. Re-square your hips. Huge inhale into the chest space, filling it with light and hope. Exhale, bring your left foot between your hands, come into warrior two, cartwheel open, have some fun. Standing tall. Check your arms, make sure they're both shoulder height. The back one hasn't dropped. Notice your knee. Is it in line with your ankle? Wiggle the left toes forward if need be. Inhale, standing tall. Head reaches towards the sky. Exhale, sink into your hips. Gazes over the left middle finger. Warrior two. You can wrap the right inner thigh forward a bit. Left hip tacks back. Huge inhale once again into the chest space. Exhale, lower your right hand down the right thigh. Gracefully reach the left arm over the left ear, over your head, peaceful warrior. Send the breath lovingly into every nook and cranny of those front ribs. Bathing yourself with nourishment so you feel strong and more replete. To focus on what you want and the life you would like to be living, being your best self rather than reacting. Huge inhale, exhale, cartwheel back to warrior two. Gaze over the left middle finger, straight the front knee, bend it. Straight your front knee, Hips reach back towards the back, reach those front fingers long, 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 drop into Trikonasana or warrior, or sorry, triangle pose. Right arm reaches towards the sky, roll your heart open and enjoy that popping open here. The pockets that haven't seen the light of day for a while, breathing into them, letting the light come into them. Two more breaths here. Roll that right shoulder back, heart opens, looking up towards your hand or towards the floor, whatever feels good for your neck. Every neck and every body is different. Breathing in. And exhale, letting it go. Slowly rise back up. Turn your hips towards the front, hands reach towards the sky. Lower your hands over that front, foot, you can bend the front knee, hop the back foot forward, coming to pyramid pose on this side. You may want to widen your lane or your stance. Both feet reach towards the front, pack the left hip back, right hip forward. Shift into your toes. Lift up the front toes, enjoying all those sensations, spread them wide. Come back to the floor, bend your elbows and lower down a tiny bit more, breathing in. And exhale, just noticing the energy shift. The breath moves the energy. Bend the elbows more if you wish. Lower your head and neck. Inhale for a half lift. Spine is straight. Crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Back foot comes to meet the front foot. Engage your belly and roll up inch by inch, ever so slowly. Treat the roll up as importantly as any of the poses. Enjoying the shifting blood flow, shifting energy, taking time to arrive, standing tall. Once again, find a beautiful Tadasana or mountain pose. Lift up all 10 toes and notice the four corners of your feet on the earth. Lower your toes down, engage your knees, engage your thighs, tuck your pelvis, 
stack your spine, each vertebrae beautifully aligned, one on top of the other, all the way up through your neck. Crown of the head reaches tall. Exhale, drop your shoulders, drop your fingers towards the floor, release and enjoy. Huge breath in. And then exhale, let it out. A moment here as a mountain to just notice how good it feels to be a strong and tall mountain, not caring about all the other mountains, feeling adequate as your own mountain, a mountain that likes certain weather and certain trees and has certain desires. What if you let your own desires be seen, not in context to someone else, but just whatever your desires are within? your own wants and hopes and dreams. Bring a hand to heart and the other hand to top, sending yourself compassion for perhaps thoughts lifelong that that was not okay to do or other people's thoughts that maybe they shared with you about what that was like. Take a huge inhale into your chest and an exhale, let it go. If your eyes are closed, open them, let the light in. And we're going to transition slowly actually to lie down directly, coming to lie on your back. No rush to arrive. You can lower down, as I often suggest, with legs extended, arms parallel, unrolling, using your belly to slowly arrive or just arrive in any way that feels amazing to you. When you arrive, take a minute to accommodate here as well. Notice the earth underneath you. Allow it to hold you and take good care of you. Notice your heels on the earth, the back of your calves on the earth, perhaps your sacrum on the earth, palms connecting lightly to the earth, elbows, arms, scapula perhaps, occiput. Notice everything that's connected to the earth and how delightful it feels to connect to the earth. Not letting that moment pass you by. Bend your knees, bring your heels towards your hips. Palms face the floor. Press into your feet and your palms and your forearms. Lift your hips up towards the sky, coming into an easy bridge. Shimmy your shoulders underneath, undoing the back body here. We didn't do many um, back bends in the opposite direction. Lift your hips up, awakening the back body. Your knees connect energetically. Hips reach towards the sky. If you wish, take your hands, grab the outer edges of your mat and tug your mat towards your heels. Reach your hips even higher. Knees don't touch, but they connect energetically. They're not falling out to the side. Huge inhale into that open heart space. Your heart here without any gravity. Different pockets waiting for the breath and space. Exhale, let it go. Lift your hips up a tiny bit higher. Send the attention to that spot behind your heart that sometimes feels tight and stuck or hollow filling it with nourishing breath and kindness and compassion, giving it the space and the nourishment to not react, to respond, to appreciate, to be curious and reflective. Lift those hips up a little higher, noticing they're probably sending you a message here. Exhale, slowly untuck your shoulders, roll down, unroll your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll it using your belly. Draw your knees into your chest and massage your lower back. Rock as far as you can to the right, all the way to that very edge, playfully. Come back to center, all the way to the left. Massage that very outer edge of the back. Back to center. Bring your hands to the outer edges of your feet. Come into happy baby. Sole of the feet reach towards the sky. Draw your knees towards the floor. Open the groin and rock. Enjoy the rock. Enjoy the opening in the groin. Soles of the feet reach towards the sky. Press your knees towards the floor and rock once again. Once to each side. 
and come to center. Pause in stillness here. Huge breath into your chest. Exhale, draw your knees slightly towards the floor, giving your groin a tiny little bit more of length. Bring the soles of your feet together. Press your heels towards your groin. Move your arms if your chest is in the way. Huge inhale here. Exhale, release, let go of your hands, lower the soles of your feet towards the floor. Knees will be flopped out to the side. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, reclining butterfly. Bring a hand to the heart, hand to belly. Huge inhale here. And then exhale, relaxing in fully to this moment. Supta Baddha Konasana is a pose of compassion. It's a restorative yoga pose. To allow yourself some healing. Taking two long, deep cleansing breaths here. Into the belly, under your hand, letting it go. The next breath into the heart space. And exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to your outer thighs. Draw your knees together. Knees stay together, knock knee. Walk your feet to the outer edge of your mat. Raise your arms over your head in an easy cactus shape. Untuck your shoulders if need be. Drop your knees to the right. Left knee connects to the right front corner of the mat energetically. So as pops open, a slight easy twist. Inhale, gaze to the left if it feels good to your neck. One breath here. Bring your knees back to center, gaze back to center. Pause for a moment, inhale. Exhale, drop your knees to the left. Right knee connects to the left front corner of the mat. Kindness to every pocket of tension that emerges here. Inhale. Exhale, gaze to the right. If that works for your neck. Bring your gaze back to center, knees back to center. Lower your arms down by your sides. Extend your legs long in front and allow your toes to fall open towards the outer edge of the mat. Palms flip open towards the sky. Take a minute to get comfortable here as we arrive in Shavasana, our final resting pose. The most important pose in yoga the integration pose. So take a moment, as mentioned, to get really comfortable. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Adjust your hips and your shoulders. If your back hurts, tuck a blanket under your knees or bend your knees. Take a huge inhale. And exhale, allow yourself to sink in and let go of all control here. Allow your body to breathe for itself. Let the earth hold you and cradle you. And let your mind go. Fully resting, if thoughts wander in, let them wander out. Nothing to do, nothing to fix, nothing to attend to. A few moments here to just be and enjoy.
since you're at home in your own Zoom box, if you wish to hang out in Shavasana longer, give yourself that gift. Otherwise, gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, letting the sensation and consciousness come back into your body. Reach your arms long above and your toes long in front. Take a huge inhale, stretching long as if you're waking up from a long winter's nap. And an exhale, letting every last bit of stress go in this moment. Draw your knees into your chest and roll over in a fetal position to whatever side feels good to you. You can use your arm as a pillow. And if you don't like waiting on your side, come to a seat. Do what works for you. Take a moment here to go within, thanking yourself for choosing to come to yoga today. Thanking yourself for choosing to look at some of these uncomfortable feelings and sensations as possibilities, as clues to desire and inner wisdom, perhaps as opportunities to inspire yourself. What if the jealousy and the judgment was actually an amazing opportunity. Press into your hands and slowly come up to a comfortable seat where we began. Find your sit bones and reconnect them into the earth. Tilt your pelvis forward, stack your spine. Hands rest lightly on your thighs. Take in a huge inhale, lengthen your neck, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Exhale, flip your palms open to the sky in that receptive, open, curious position. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. May you all have a beautiful week of curiosity, inspiration, and connecting with your inner desires. Bring a hand to heart, the other hand to top, sending yourself compassion for the journey.